Hi guys, my name is Keith Moma Guju and today I want to show you how you can access data for your financial analysis from the World Bank website. But before I show you how to access the data, I just want to talk a little bit about the World Bank because I know that some of you may not have a clue about what the World Bank really is. Okay, right, so the World Bank was created in 1944 out of the Bretton Woods Agreement, which was secured under the auspices of the United Nations. Okay, and the main aim of the World Bank is to reduce poverty in the world. So the World Bank does contribute to the reduction of poverty in the world by offering developmental assistance to, mid to middle income and low income countries. Okay. Now, having said that, let me proceed to show you how you can access data such as GDP, which is the revenue uh, that a country makes. Okay and how also you can access GDP per capita, which is uh, revenue that a country makes per person, okay? And how you can also um, access data on interest rates, deposit uh, rates and lending interest rates, okay? So I'm going to show you that, and then you can use that data for your financial analysis remember you, you you can't be a good financial analyst if you don't know what's happening you know in the global economy so first of all you need to understand how you can um, get data on global economy or data on a on the country uh, where your company you're analyzing uh, is in okay so you need to know where you can get data such as GDP, you know, the population in that country and what's happening in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the world, you know, as a whole. So um, let's just, you know, go to, to, to your Google search bar and then type uh, um, World, World Bank, okay, and press end. And then on the search results, click on this link that to pop up first, right? Click, click on it, and then you'll be taken to the World Bank website, you see? But our focus is not here. Our focus is to get the data. So go to understanding poverty. Remember, um, when I, in the beginning, I said, um, the main aim of the World Bank is to reduce poverty. That's why you see here on their menu bar here, we've got this uh, menu uh, where they, there's, uh, there are also other, where there's a drop down menu and here there's um, a section uh, uh, on data and research. You know, or you, here you can open the data. Here you can see, you can access data by country you can access data by indicator okay and here there are some development topics you know you can understand all that you know but uh, you know spare some time and explore but today we are going to focus on we are going to search data by country we are going to access data by country so just click here right by country and right so here, um, this page here will, um, will, will come out if we uh, click on that, uh, say, open data by country. And here you see there's um, this heading here, subheading saying countries and economies. Okay, because a country sometimes, it's a, the, the word country and economy, sometimes they refer to the same thing and right so you can even search by you can access data by country by region income levels demographic and dividend groups you know things like that but 
my here today i just want to show you i just want to access data for zimbabwe okay so I'll just click on zimbabwe here perfect so as you can see right now uh this is the gdp by default and stuff but i just want to show you how you can access all this uh you know the population for now it's saying uh, if you just follow you see this uh, this is data visualization here this this is cool data visualization so you see um, in the year 1960 the population the Zimbabwean population was three three million seven hundred seventy six say uh, uh, six uh, hundred seventy nine and you know you can see then to uh, on average here it's 14 million point see so the cool thing about the World Bank, if you don't know anything about the population or you just know what it is, how it is calculated, you just click here on details. And here it gives you total population is based on the de facto definition of population, which counts all residents regardless of legal status or citizenship. The value shown are media estimates, okay? So, which is great, right? and so let's say we just want to see the gdp i do i know here this is gdp which is uh the revenue okay because gdp we say it's the revenue that a country makes okay and right but let's uh, let us use this search bar right so i'll just uh, write gdp there okay so right see gdp current and gdp you know things like that so we can even access the gdp current that is um revenue uh zimbabwe rev uh, revenue and, and as you can see here you can even trace uh in 1960 the revenue or uh, the gdp was 1.05 billion us dollars and you can see here there's they've specified that this is in us dollars okay so you can even trace here you see uh in 2016 the gdp for zimbabwe was 20.5 billion us dollars hey right? that is a lot of money uh and here you see in 2017 the gdp dropped to um 19.01 billion US dollars and in 2019 see here the GDP is dropping here in 2019 it was a 16.9 billion right US dollars so perfect so you can even choose this is a line a line a line graph right a line plot and stuff you can even choose to see the bar the bar chart here see you know perfect or you can choose to see the, the map here you know you can you can choose like if you click on this you see it gives you you can check here this is the year it's 2020 and you click here in 2020 the gdp was 16.76 billion um, dollars okay and see that's perfect so here yeah, this may be showing you that these faint ones these are trillions you know perfect so uh back to the line plot there and like i told you that if you don't know what gdp is you can even you know click here on details so here you can get the definition for gdp and get an idea of how it is calculated so gdp it purchases prices is the sum of gross value added by resident producers in the economy plus any product taxes and minus any subsidies not included in the value of products so you can learn a lot here okay and here you can even see the source okay the source of the data right which is cool and we can even check you see here um gdp growth annuals so you can even search here gdp or you can click on this site or you can search here you see 
GDP growth annual you can you, let's just we are tracing now to see the GDP growth in percentages right so you see here uh, see here at the peak there in 2010 uh, GDP was 19.67% 90, here in 2012 it dropped to 16.6 percent here it dropped to, in 2017 it dropped to, to 4.6 see in 2020 a hey, further dropped as you can see right which is luck so you can trace and check and let's also check um gdp per capita which is the revenue that a country makes per person okay so let's just check current current okay right so in 20 in 2016 uh, gdp per capita or revenue per person was 1464 um 1464.5 us dollars that is the revenue per person and you can even check the details there see uh you can even read a lot and see how it's calculated there which is all fantastic right you can even check data for you know interest rates you can check there you can check uh, real interest rate right you can check any in in right and as you can see here you can check the real interest rates you know you can even visualize and, and click on this uh, on this section you know you can there, there are a lot of ways okay that you can do it so this is perfect so let's say you want data on interest on real interest rate in zimbabwe then you can download the csv file in, a, in, a, um, in the in in you can download the data in csv file which is comma separated values here in excel format in this format so that's perfect and data here is from 1960 to 2020 you know uh, there's a lot this is so so cool so guys this is what i wanted you to, to know and i hope you have found this uh uh, tutorial useful and I hope that in your uh, financial analysis you will also make use of this data you will also drill down and find you know the data that you really want and you know I hope that this helps you a lot so thank you guys for watching